Aloha, in this video, I'm going to continue doing the challenge activities, uh, selected challenge activities that you asked for uh, in, in the uh, book here. And this time I'm going to do uh, this 6.12.1, uh, changing the order of elements in a function list. And um, as with the others, I have not looked at this problem yet. I haven't, I, I looked at it just to, when I came here, but I haven't thought about solving it yet. And uh, this, and uh, so that way you can, and I'll talk out loud as I'm solving the problem. That way you can uh, see how, see, see how I um, uh, handle uh, when I encounter a bug and how I, how I test it and so on. All right, so, um, so, so let me get this out of the way here. And all right, uh, in this function, we're supposed to write a, a function called swap that swaps the first and last elements of, a, of an argument list. Okay, so if we input all good things must end here, uh, we're only swapping the, the all and the here, it appears. Uh, all is over here and here is here. And good things must end are still the same. Okay, well, that's easy. Okay, so, so I'm gonna, uh, and so we input a value list and we set a comma separated value list. And, um, and then we call our swap function. And, uh, and uh, I think the um, one point about this, I'm looking at it is, um, is, um, you know, normally when you pass an argument to a function, um, uh, it you're, you're, you're passing the value of, of the argument. So on the function side, when it comes in as a parameter, it actually creates its own little variable space for it. And then it does its thing. Uh, but then when the function returns, uh, the, the argument uh, uh, doesn't change, even though it might have changed inside the function itself. Uh, whereas if you pass a list, uh, that's mutable. So uh, you can go down there and mess with the list. And then when you return back from the, from the function, it's like the, the, the list is, is, has, has changed. So if you pass a function a list, uh, then, and the function messes with the list, when, it, when, when the function's all done and you're back in the main program, the list will, will, remain, will, will be messed with. And so, and it, whereas if you're just passing a variable that's not the, that's that's not the case. Um, they, each language has its own term for it. Uh, call by value, call by reference is one, but I think this names it differently. Call by well, anyway, I don't. Oh, pass by assignment. Pass by object reference. No, no, pass by assignment is same as oh, so the other one must be pass by value. Maybe? Well, anyway, the idea is you're you're either passing a a reference to where that argument is in memory, and you're, you're passing the address of it. In which case, you 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 actually have the the means to go in and mess with it. Whereas with uh, just variables that you're passing, not not lists and these complex data types. Um, you're actually just passing the value itself and the function makes its own space for it. So anyway, so let's do this. Um, so we have a def uh, swap and we have, we have um, um, taken in as a parameter a values list, which I can just name the same, I guess. I don't have to name it the same. I'm just gonna name it that just to, just to prove that the name doesn't have to be the same. I don't think the name has to be the same. All right, um, so so we've got, so basically we wanna find this element and exchange it with this element. Um, there's a, um, um, so um, I don't know, uh, temp. So, okay, so, so I'm gonna take this element stored in a temporary variable, and then I'm gonna, let me pop up my whiteboard here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this, so, element stored in a temporary variable, uh, stored in a temporary variable. Then I'm gonna take this element and put it into this element. And then I'm gonna take the temporary variable out and put it uh, in, this, in this variable. 
did, did my thing pop up? Did my All right, so I'm gonna, um, so I've got, uh, you know, def swap, and I have this list, which is uh, here, uh, good, uh, dot, 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 all. Okay, it's, it's these, uh, and these are actually strings. I, I, that's here. That's this thing. That's this thing here. Here and all. And uh, so, um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a temporary variable called temp. And I'll set uh, the first one, which is whatever this list is, uh, zero. So like this zero. And then I'm gonna, uh, oh, I, I gotta know what the end one is. So it's the, the length of the list. Uh, so I'm gonna say uh, length of list, oops, length of list, LOL, length of list equals, um, is it like len of, uh, of L? And then I'm going to say, um, no, yeah, length of L. Then I'm going to have to say um, uh, L of L O L equals L. No, L of of. So I, I've stored away zero, the zero one. I've stored here away. So, so I can. Uh, so now I can just overwrite that with the with this one. So the length of zero or uh, L of zero equals L of L O L. And then uh, then now I uh, now I've freed up L O L and I can store temp in the L O L. So L of L O L. Trash can. Uh, okay, this go into this. Uh, L O L equals temp. So what we've done here is, um, in in this case, uh, here this is here. So that gets so now temp equals here. And then we've got uh, the length of L, and in, in this case, it's a one, two, three, four, five, six. The length of L is six, and so so LOL become gets six, and then uh, we find that we uh, six. So L L of six L of six is uh, zero one two oh, zero one two three four five. Oh, it's better be minus one. Length of LOL minus one. Or no. no change it. I'm going to do uh, LOL equals length length minus one. I'm going to put the minus one there. So then I don't need this. Okay, so um, length of LOL is, uh, is uh, oh, it, uh, this is going to be, so this is going to equal five. This is five because this is six minus one. Minus one. And so, so L of, of five is zero one two three four five all so uh, list of zero is going to now equal all. That's the last one here, and then um, uh, temp is equals here so here. And so here gets stored into uh, L of five. L of five gets here. And so now this one is here, and this one is whatever this all. 
Okay, so 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 that's our approach. Uh, let me get rid of this. Um, so I'm going to call this. What, what what did I call it? L? Uh, so I'm going to go um, um, temp equals um, L of zero and uh, LOL equals length of L. And, um, you know, I'm going to run this on a different, uh, I got it. I, I shouldn't be running this because because I want to be able to debug as I go. So I'm going to go CD desktop. And I'm going to bring up my um, my unfavorite editor here. And I'm going to uh, make a, a test PY. Oh, here we go. Nice blank test PY. And I am going to uh, copy this code into test PY. All right, so um, <clears throat> uh, so swap L, uh, LOL equals length of L. And, uh, and then I'm going to say um, uh, the length or the list, uh, the LOL is equal to the list of, no, no, no. I, I've stored away the list of zero. So now I can write into the list of zero. I haven't stored away the list of LOL yet. So this zero equals uh, the last one, length of list. It's actually points to the last element of the list. Oh, minus one. So this is actually the last element of list, the list. And now, now I've, uh, um, now I've got the last element in the list stored into the first element of the list. Uh, and now I can store this temp value, which was the first, which is the first element of the list. I can store that into here. So I'm going to do uh, the list, LOL, is equal to temp. Uh, so I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see if it works. Um, input, I'm going to say enter a list. Comma, separated list. Okay, now I'm just going to get this to run, uh, but you got to know that you might have to Oh, you can't even write. Into, okay, so fine. Um, okay, so um, I can do work. I can take up word rep. Okay. Uh, so, oh, then I got to return. Oh, I got to return the list. Oh, I don't have to do anything. I think I, I, it's the list is, is mutable. The uh, parameter is mutable. It means you can mutate it. Uh, and um, and so, just the fact that we've already messed with L, the list, uh, will make that this will make make it so this one is different than this one. And here I print. Okay, so let's let's see what the, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to run uh, test.py, and boom, inconsistent use of tabs and oh, Jesus. All right. Got to do the tab things right. Tab. Oh, I can. Let me just do this. Shift tab, tab. All right, there. Save that. Now let's see if this runs. Okay, enter a comma separated list. Um, here, comma, good, comma, things, comma, must, comma, end, comma, all. Ah, all is here, and then good things must end are still all there, and here is there. All right, 
well, I didn't realize this would be so easy. So thanks for watching.